All right, good morning. God bless each and every one of you. It's 8.41, the 29th of uh, September. Pray everybody out there is receiving a message from this. We're going to uh, read a little bit in First uh, Timothy 4.1. And... Uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 21, Psalms, I got about four in there, and uh, three, Matthews, Revelations, a couple, Proverbs, and this one I got about five, Romans, and then Isaiah. Guys, we're going to start off in Proverbs. Um, looking at everything that we see right now happening today, um, Wake Up posted that one with the uh, governor in New York where she was uh, saying how God gave them the wisdom to uh, make the uh, things, make the stuff, you know, that they're using. I don't even want to use the name because they can kick you off for using the name. Uh, how they said God gave them the scientists to make that stuff, you know, and then they're saying how we want all of you to be apostles and go out and get as many people as you can to make this stuff. And uh, I'm going, wow, you know, if they're not over there saying we're doing, we're giving disinformation, they're using the word of God to twist things as they did. To try to get people to do it. And what really is amazing is how the majority are not seeing it, what they're doing. But anyhow, we got people like that saying that. And then the, we know the scripture says that not many mighty or noble are called. Okay? And we see what they're doing. And then it says how he uses the weak things to confound the things that are wise of this world. And, uh, then also where it says how they're using scriptures now, we're seeing them do it. Well, it also says um, there's going to be a time when they're putting people to death thinking that they're doing God's will. You know, so we can kind of see the things that are coming up. And uh, I think a lot of people that are still holding on as tightly as they can to whatever they have here, um, their worldly things, it's going to come at a at a price and you know, the love of these things and where it says you can't be partakers at the table of the devils and the table of the lord you can't do both and they're clearly doing it because they're trying to hold on but yet they say they know we're at the end okay now we're also seeing where it says the euphrates river is drying up okay that's happening right now the euphrates and all those ships sitting out at sea right now waiting to be unloaded from other countries. And we know what it says in scriptures about that. Yeah. And look how far we are into this. How many people have already done this? You know. And he does say he intervenes early because of the things that are coming. This is where you guys, we could be hidden for a little while. While these things come more on the world and waiting for more people to let go, we know over half have already done this, okay? And there's some that are holding out because they're not sure. And their uncertainty is probably because of the worldly things. This is why you guys, you got to check and see who it is around you, man. If they're still trying to pull you in to worldly things or talk, about worldly things and not about the times and the signs that we're seeing. You got to be careful, you guys. I mean, these are spirits and and they know what they're doing. Look at where they already got everybody. You know, evolution and all that. You guys, I wanted to look this up, but I forgot to. I was going to go down there where in the beginning in the Bible where it says, in those days there were giants on the earth. Giants. Well, you guys, we know people lived a lot longer then, too, right? 
find it. Uh, we know a lot of people lived like 900 or 1,000 years back then because this place was like a planetarium. It was, um, it was like a perfect place for things to grow even big. All right, uh, wickedness of the world. Anyhow, where it says there were giants in those eights. And, uh, guys, look at the animals. Um, Ron Wyatt, if you ever get a chance to see his video, I'd recommend it. It's a nice video where when he shows his discoveries, things that he went by and he didn't found. And uh, when you look at the discoveries, the things that he, that he came up on, but somebody asked him the question about that. And he goes, well, it says there were giants in those days. Well, uh, back then, like a crocodile, you know, back then, it would have been monstrous, huge. And he said what they did is they took the head of a crocodile and they put that on uh, the body of like a kangaroo. You know, and made it look like a, and then the feet, different feet from something else. Make it look like something. That's when they came out with movies called Jurassic Park. Try to promote evolution even more. You guys, Hollywood is all a big part of all this, man. And uh, they know what they're doing. You know, when it comes to deceiving everybody. And the word of God does say there were giants in those days. Even today, we've got crocodiles that come up to a thousand pounds, fifteen or two thousand pounds. You know, huge, huge. Look, look at how big one of those are, and compare it to a human being. How, how uh, man is. We look mighty small to them. Now, can you imagine back then how much bigger they were? I mean, we got some lizards that are still big in some parts of the country. If everything was a lot bigger then than it is today. Yeah. Anyhow, um, anyhow, it talked of uh, when God destroyed this place. He said there were giants in the earth in that time. You gotta look it up and find it. I can't do it now because I don't have Wi Fi here. Um, you get a chance, you guys got Wi Fi? Look at it and look at how the wording is. It says there were giants in the earth at this time. I'm gonna go down there and look it up today just to be sure. Because um, wording is very important, too. Um, people were, they definitely lived a lot longer, you know? And then it got to the point where a man's life was 120 years. And things got, you know, there weren't, well, King David, there were still a few giants around then. With six fingers and six toes, you know, but not a whole lot. And then we've seen some in our time, some people that were born gigantic but their lives were very short because they ended up having like cancer and stuff in their bones and brittle now let's let me get to reading here this is the time you guys Euphrates River is drying up cargo ships out at sea this is the time where people should be really uh, seeking the Lord and following him and acknowledging him in all your ways Get out of this world, man. This world's going to be just nothing but problems for a lot of people. All right, let's go to, uh, I'm in Proverbs. Uh, I'm going to start off at 16, 4 through 7. The Lord has made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. Mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. 
by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Yeah, that's why you see today they don't. We're blind to it. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. All right, now um, go to thirteen twenty. Thirteen twenty. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Evil pursues sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. See, you guys. You can. Sin is a choice. We're here to make that choice. Choose the good or the evil. And if you pursue the good, it's like it says also, that God will uh, establish even your thoughts. Even your thoughts. When you pursue the good, God will establish even your thoughts. Things that come onto your mind. Why do you think they they want you to watch and look at stuff that's filthy and and not of God. They want you to, oh, let's show you what they did to get people the way they are, you know? And then they're going to go over there and watch that filth, what they did to these people. So what is it that they're putting in your thoughts? Not of God. It's not holy. That's why I say we've got to be careful what we, what we watch, everything. Very powerful. But it, the effects that it has on the person when you're watching things. All right, let's go to 833. 833. Blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me loves death. And man, I've witnessed with people, man, and they did not want to hear it. They did not want to hear it. Our fucking family members do, you know? And, uh, it's a spirit, man. All right, that was 8.33. Let's see what 6.6 six is. Go to the ant. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways. Be wise. Which have no guide or overseer or ruler, provided their meat in the summer, and gathereth their food in the harvest. How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? When will thou arise out of sleep? And this is what you see in right now, where people are literally, they're sleeping. You know, that's what they blinded the minds of people. There's a reason for all that. B35, they're trying to take as many people. What evolution, all that, man. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. B7. I'm going to read 5 through 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Be not in your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. and He will direct your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Guys, sin is evil. Okay? Remember, you're going to have a lot of people that's going to be preaching another thing. They're going to have a different look on their face like they're and holy, but they're not. Okay. All right, let us go to uh, Matthew 722. Seven twenty two. I'm going to read 21 and 22. Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. 
Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? And in your name have we not cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Listen to 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and does them, will liken him into a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And this is what's happening right now. The rains are descending. And the floods came and the winds blew and they beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Everyone that hears these sayings of mine and does them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. When these things happened, great was the fall of it. This is what's happening right now to people everywhere, you guys. This is what's happening right now. All right. All right, let's go to Romans 7.7. 7. Seven seven. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. No. I wouldn't have known sin but by the law. For I had not known lust except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. And this is what's happening, you guys. A lot of people that are coveting and they don't even know it. Thing here, it's hard to get this, the lighting. It's very foggy right now. But it's hard to get the lighting and the screen gets dark a lot. You know, it's just weird how this thing works. Remember what it says also? It says, where it says, Satan makes war with those who keep the commandments of God. And the testimony of Jesus Christ, the teachings of Christ. You guys, the first two commandments, you fulfill the whole law. Yeah, we're not under the law. But if you don't keep God's commandments, okay? And if the first two commandments, you fulfill the whole law. There it goes. You know what I mean? There's 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 a lot of uh fault stuff going on out there, man. They don't keep, they don't even read the teachings of Christ. Bad. All right, let us go to uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 21. 21. I'm going to start off at 20. But I say... That the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils, not to God. I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. You can't drink at the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You can't be partakers of the Lord's table and the table of devils. You guys, here in these countries, when you read these scriptures, it says, When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes your enemies be at peace with you. And look at all the years of war we've had here. And look at all the sons and daughters that have fought and died. And then our nation, they glorify that. You know, they glorify it. But for the Lord, it's only been a half a day that we've been doing this. And if we were keeping his word, and his word says, he'll make your enemies be at peace with you. The fear of man brings a snare. Okay, so when you fear like Russia or China, their weapons, their military, um, then you're going to do what the world wants you to do, what Satan's. Then you're going to be in the hands of the devil because you're not, you should fear God and, his, and keep his commandments and his word and believe. This is a history book of what happens to people that don't believe, what happens to King David was constantly seeking the Lord. There was a time when he, you know, the Lord said, I'm going to bring evil against you. 
this word won't depart from your house. What you've done in secret, I'm going to do in the open. You know? and, but you guys, we've all done far worse. You know, the business here is an example to us. You know, King David was constantly trying to get it out of his country. We were constantly letting it in the country. It's the opposite. You know, Christ coming here and washing away our sins doesn't give us a, way, a reason to sin. You know, it says if we do sin again, we have a mediator where we can repent. But a lot of people don't think that they have to repent. And a lot of people don't even consider their whole life they're constantly living in sin. And you have to die to this world. You have to separate from it. You literally have to separate from this. The wicked place, you guys. Wicked. You know, 1 Corinthians 11 says, Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Christ. You know, as an example, look at how Paul, you know, once he had his eyes opened up, look at what he did. You know, even when you read the, watch some of the Christian movies, how they always show them covering their heads, covering their heads. And then here, when you read this, it's, it clearly shows you um, Paul saying where, uh, about the heads, the orders of things. You know, Christ is our head, and there's Christ, man, woman, and child. Okay, that's the order of things. Every man praying or prophesying and having his head covered, he dishonored his head. Every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head. And that is even all one if she were shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn, let her shave her head like mine. It would be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. For he is the image of the glory of God. The woman is the glory of man. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman. Neither the woman without the man in the Lord. Goes on, okay. You know, even right here in thirteen, ten, thirteen, there's no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation he'll make a way for you to escape, that you may be able to bear it. But if your mind's not in him, you're not going to. It's that simple. You're going to be tempted and led away of your own lust. Yeah, that's why you have to be following Christ. That's why Paul says, you know, who will deliver me from this? He goes, I thank Christ. I thank Christ. Okay. Let us go to... Uh, 1 Timothy 4.1. 4.1. Now the Spirit expresses that in the latter times uh, some will depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies, hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, commanding to abstain from meats, which God has created to be received with thanksgiving, of them which believe and know the truth. Every creature of God is good, nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. See, at this time, they also had Hebrews coming against them, saying, well, you can't be saved without being circumcised. And, you know, trying to constantly give them, they, they rejected Christ. And they were constantly coming behind these guys. If they weren't trying to kill them, they were trying to 
destroy their uh, their gospel. You know, and you guys, you got to be reading it to understand it. You're just reading what sounds good and feels good, and you, you put it aside. You're, you're it's not good. It's going to be real bad. All right, let us go to uh, Isaiah 66. Six. Yeah, we got to get out of this place, guys. 66, 2 through 4. For all those things has my hand made. All those things have been, says the Lord. To this man I will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. See that? That trembles at my word. He that killeth an ox as if he slew a man. He that sanctified, sanctifieth a lamb, as if he cut off a dog's head. He that offereth an oblation, as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense, as if he blessed an idol. Yeah, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighteth in their abominations. I will also choose their delusions. I will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none answered. When I spoke, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes, and chose that which I delighted not. Okay? But guys, we're in some, these are wicked times we're living in right now, man. It's extremely wicked. <laughs> it's extremely wicked, man. We're right on the edge of all this right now. You know, we're, uh, you know, you're seeing where they're still setting up Halloween stuff and nobody's speaking out about anything. You know, and though when you do, we've been out there with signs out on the street. Forget it. You know, unless you got signs out there telling them what they want to hear, saying, you know, you're saved, you know, be blessed. You know, then people will honk their horn and wave. And But when you're out there telling them the times we're living in now, they just drive by you. They don't like, they don't see it. It's time. There goes a flock full of geese right there. Flock of geese. It's time. This is what time it is, you guys. It is now time to... Um, be ready to depart from this place, man. Euphrates River is drying up. Cargo ships are sitting out in the bay. And people are more worried about what's in those cargoes getting dropped off than anything else. You know? Everything's backed up. Why? Because, you know, they, they everything they blame it on. Everything they're blaming all this on. You know, and uh, it's just time to get out of here, you guys. It's just time to get out. Be separated. We don't have to have it. Be at peace. Be at peace with all this happening now. The Lord did clearly show me there's going to be a time when they're going to turn against us. And they're going to be very bitter and hateful toward us. And when they do, we're going to be totally separated from them. There'll be some of those people that might be caught up in them you know, because they were holding on to this for the last minute. And I see them too. I can see them. You can see who these people are. And I think we're at that point now where we could be hidden for a while. We could be hidden for a while. And then um, When we're taken, those that let go, you know, he'll know that moment and that time when this time happens. Till then, you know, stay in prayer, you guys. Stay, 
You know, keep your mind on the things above. Not on these earthly things, man. The lady I witnessed to, she ended up walking away laughing with a mask on her face, you know. And when we came here three years ago, warning people, it wasn't like you see it today. You know, and today we can clearly see what's going on. What they're wanting to do to everybody, they're muzzling everybody. Yeah, you know, it says, Thou will not thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treads the corn. You know. Well, they're not treading no corn. That's why they all got a muzzle on their face. You know, they don't um They don't realize and it says don't grieve the Holy Spirit where you've been sealed the day of redemption. Now if you agree that you don't think he belongs on the job or in the schools or in the government, and most people when you see him on their jobs or whatever, and you try to talk to him, you can tell they try to refrain from it because of work policies now. The way things have been made. And I was told that on with my, I had my own business. I had a customer tell me, Mark, we can get you a lot of work, make you wealthy, and have to speak less of Christ. And I said, that would never happen. That'll never happen. And immediately my phone stopped ringing. And I had the same phone number for 14 years. 14 years. 727 Four five seven three seven zero zero. You know, I see a lot of those numbers, like the thirty-seven. After actually, when it stopped ringing, the three-seven, I got a picture that was hidden, but I didn't see for thirty-seven years. That's that picture I showed you with the angel blowing a trumpet above my head. Thirty-seven years. And then look at all the sevens. It was. Area code 727. Now, now watch the two. 45737. See the, the five and the two adds up to seven. The three, four adds up to a seven. You know, a lot of sevens. But anyhow, it stopped ringing when I refused to, uh, when I told that customer that it would never happen. They were all demonic of the devil. You know, and that didn't happen until after that drug deal in front of my shop that I broke up. And uh, I didn't know it was a drug deal. I just seen some people sneaking around out there. An undercover operation by the Clearwater Coast Guard. People got them with like 200 pounds of cocaine. This happened. But there's no coincidences. You know, no coincidences at all. Anyhow. I'm ready to get on here to load up this video. <clears throat> We're getting down to the end of it, you guys. I can't wait to get out of this carnal flesh. You know, tired of this world. It's definitely, we came here to know what good and evil is. We came here to know what good and evil is. I'm going to tell you something. Like it says in the Bible, people prefer the darkness over the light. They love the darkness more. That's why they said when he came into the world, the world didn't recognize him. You know? It's because they got a veil. They had a hard, hardened shell of life, of, you know, getting and doing what they can do in the world to get ahead. To always try to get ahead in this world. And that's the way Satan likes it like that. But the Lord likes it when, you know, when we work together. And do things together. And everybody rejoices together. You know. That's the way the Lord would have it. He gives it to us freely. You know. But that ain't how we do it. You know. It's been turned into a corporation. Churches even joined the corporations. They didn't even know it. You know. Oh it's just a tax write off. That's all it is. Oh it's just a. Make you everybody better. You know, one lie after another lie. Anyhow, God bless everybody in Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. All who repent and believe and call on the name of the Lord 
Repent of your sins. Then you got to stop that sin. You have to stop it. Yeah, because you can't, like it says, sit at the table of devils and the table of the Lord. You know, this is something that's in you. You have to get it out. You have to get it out of you. That's why I say you let them in when when you concede to their, what they try to seduce you with. You know, they seduce you with things. Just like they try to seduce me, you know. I'll speak less about Christ. We can turn your business around. Make you wealthy. So that'll never happen. You know, that's just one of many things. You know, the, the exceptions of Satan are, are phenomenal. They're phenomenal. You know, the depths of Satan. You know, it's all in this world. These flags. Every nation has a flag. You know, but you'll see people here think, oh, not like ours. Well, it's still a flag. It's still a piece of cloth, and it's got an image on it. You know, and the same with Israel. They call it the Star of David. No, there's nothing in the Bible about that, other than it says the star, the Rimfrad, that they that they brought up and worship. You know, that's what they've done. That's what it is. They even put it in the movies, like it's the Star of David. No, that's that Star Rimfrad. That's what that is. I seen it when I was in Israel. I paused at those columns, seen those stars there. And then the tour guide there takes people over the fruit and goes, oh, this, 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 talking about different fruit. And then when he came by there, I said, well, what about this? And he goes, uh, then he looked over there and seen some more fruit. And he started pointing out the fruit, just totally ignored what I was pointing at. And the tour guides. None of them stopped it. Show anybody that. I got it in one of my videos when I was in Israel. Where I stopped where the star got on there. The Bible speaks about that. Yeah. Anyhow. God bless you guys. I love you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Keep this in mind, you guys. Brady's River, it's drying up. Right now. Look it up. See what it looks like. And, uh. Cargo ships, all scripture. And then when you get into uh, Revelations uh, 16, 16, 12 through 14, I think. Look, real quick, I'm right here. Um, yes, 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates. And the water thereof dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And this is where I had that dream about the three spirits. So they didn't look like frogs, but they were like professing themselves to be holy and stuff. And when one would stop speaking, the other one would pick up where the other left off. All right, to gather them to the great day of the God Almighty, the battle. Behold, I come as a thief. Lest is he that watcheth and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And that's in red. That's where Jesus said that, you guys. This is what we're seeing. Not only that, this is talking about Armageddon. And I've been, like this morning I woke up, I looked at the clock, 717. I've been seeing it for months now, you guys, months. 717, that's Armageddon. That's exactly what that is. All those cargo ships, what at sea. Euphrates drying up, you know. These things don't all just come together for nothing. All right, this is the time we're in. God bless you guys. I love you. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior.